Hey. All right. So, hey, it's Sue Greenwald here with Awakened Stories. Here again, finally, drum roll with King Smarty. Yay! Welcome back, boss. What's up? <laughs> so glad. We, I've gotten questions for probably easily a month about what you've been up to. And, um, you know, I'm so glad that we're back. So not sure if you want to start out, out with anything specific, but I know you released Armadas in the past month or so. We've got so many Armadas of angels out there. It's almost crazy. Billions. Billions. Yeah. yeah. Billions. And, uh, you know, the more and more they attack us, uh, those of us of the light that are doing good. Yeah. We all know we all know what attacks are like because everybody's experiencing them. Oh, yeah. Um, even 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 like people directly next to me. So um, yeah. the, mo the more and more they um, they mess around, the more and more they're going to find out. So the more yeah. you fuck around, the more you're going to find out. <laughs> so the armadas are kicking ass and taking names and are they getting tired at all like do they need more people to help them or how's that going uh no not at all there's um there's plenty of them and they're just they're like me they're just waiting for their orders okay awesome and, you know i i i request every day to you know eliminate certain people and daddy says not yet so right um we we are we are an unstoppable force and we have to follow dad's um guidance dad's rules dad's law whatever you want to call it we can't just you know eliminate an entire army without them exposing themselves right right so that's what you're seeing happen all around the world Right. Uh, and if and if you notice, because of them exposing themselves, more and more people are turning to the Jesus uh, figure that they believe was me. Right. Right. Um, that being said, it's still going to end up, um, you know, uh, coming to an end and me being exactly who dad says I am. Um, and that's that's um, that's um, that's inevitable. It's, you know, there's no way around it. It's true. Um, Daddy's bringing more and more people to the light and bringing more and more people to um, being just all around good people. So um, that's where we're at with it. Um, you know, even even if you heard uh, Trump's latest speech talking about all the Christians need to vote. What do you mean all the Christians need to vote? What about everybody else? <laughs> See that's that's the problem with these individuals. They they're trying to categorize categorize, right. you know, different groups. Like what where's the love in that? How about all you loving people come and vote? Right. You you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, so um that being said, uh things are happening exactly the way that I said they would happen. Um some take time, obviously. Um, however, they are happening and you are witnessing it all hands on, like right in real time. Uh, there's nothing to be afraid of. Dad is in complete control of it all. And, um, you know, as long as 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 long as and as soon as you realize that dad is in control of it all, you won't worry about the stupid shit. Um, people, a lot of people are are, are forgetting that. They are here on missions. Not everybody, but those of us that are here on missions, we're, we're literally here on missions to save, to change and save the world the way we were headed. Now, they'll do anything they can to get everybody off that track. It's impossible for me. The reason why it's impossible for me, because I am dead in the flesh. Okay. Daddy is me, I'm daddy. I don't expect everybody to believe it, and I can care less. I'm going to complete this mission on liberating Earth, and I'm not going to be sidetracked, and I'm not going to be um, stopped. That being said, we will continue to do what we do, and I will continue to perform and show people how real I am, how real daddy is. 
we all believe in certain things. Um, lots of pe people believe in God. Lots of people believe in whatever you want to call daddy. Daddy is all loving. He is not the one that destroyed everything everywhere. Man, beings, certain entities are the ones that destroyed shit everywhere. Daddy creates, he creates out of love. He created us out of love. And that's what we're bringing back to this earth, to this planet, to this realm. The love. That's why we started to help somebody campaign. That's why we started the, the family social events. That's why we're doing all the things that we're doing, and we're doing it countrywide. Like, we're, you know, eventually it's going worldwide. But we have to start somewhere, and I've already started it. And through remote viewing and um, their, um, what do you call it, their looking glass devices, they already knew it was going to happen. That's why, you know, years back, they would say Sananda and his humanitarian army was um, going to be unleashed or however they said it. And it's true. And it's happening. It's right in front of your fucking face. Excuse my French. <laughs> so, so, so I'm not I'm not telling you guys I'm not blowing smoke up nobody's ass. I'm telling you all this is what's happening. And. We're validating it. We're doing it. We're proving it. Not that we have to, but it's just, it's, you're seeing it. Yeah. Yeah. I got a text. I got an email saying, where's Smarty at? Is he dead? We haven't seen him. Well, that's because they have been successfully shadow banning me and censoring me. You can't censor the skies. Like I keep saying, you can't censor when we, uh, you know, shut down the Olympics. You can't censor none of that shit. We will not be censored, and the Light Brigade is here. And we're here to stay permanently. That's why my DNA will spread worldwide, too. Because we are going to change shit. And I don't care who likes it or not. That's my little speech for now. Let's go on with some questions. Well, how can I top that? That's fabulous. So tell us a little bit about these um, events that are happening around the country. I've seen a couple, three up in the Northeast, uh, like they're giving vegetables and fruit away and things like that. So can you kind of give me an overview of that? Yeah, so what's happening is we're helping and sponsoring certain things all around the world, um, all around the country right now at this point. Uh, we got New York, we got uh, Detroit, we got uh, California, we got somebody in uh, Atlanta looking around. Uh, we got everybody um, um, trying to put these, not trying, but putting these other events together where we help somebody today. We bring out same thing I did here. Yeah. Face painters, entertainers, uh, food, food banks. Uh, we didn't have the food banks here, but we did face painting and entertainment. Right. right. Um, we did a lot of those things here. But the, the, the purpose of these events is to help somebody today, like the food, especially the food, what they're doing in uh, New York, right? Right. Um, they already have their second one. Now, these individuals that are doing this, they're the ones that came down to my event that, as special guests. They saw, they witnessed everything, and they're like, what the fuck? We want to do this shit, too. Yeah. So not only are they doing it, they left here with a different mindset. And now daddy's put, you know, put that that fire in their heart that you can't stop because they right. want to be able to do good. Right. They want to do good. So they went, they worked, they went right ahead. They yeah. went to work right ahead. And whatever they whatever they needed, you know, as far as sponsorship, I helped fund it. That's what we're doing. Uh, mind you, I don't have all the money that I would I would like to have right right now, but right. the money's coming too. I, I I have full faith in Daddy that he will fund everything that he wants it funded. Right? Okay. Um. Uh, that being said, um, you know the more people that wants to help out, all they have to do is 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 contact us. Uh, we're going to start putting direct phone numbers on the flyers. So that um, so that we can, uh, my phone is ringing off the hook because everybody that's involved in all of these campaigns are calling me right now. 
<laughs> um, and and if you saw you saw the uh, the spreadsheet that I put out, um, I, I I paid for that. I had a couple of donations where other people helped pay for it. But you see how much is how much we spent to get it all done. Yes, I did. Woof. You know, and and we it was a lot of money. We yeah. uh, um, and we at the end of the day we helped a lot of people that day. We we entertained a bunch of kids. Uh, we did raffles. We did all types of stuff like that. So that's what we want to mimic worldwide. Okay. Um, and we're going to start. We're, we're starting here in the U.S. and eventually it's going to go global because you know Dad's global. Um, and for, for those, for those individuals doing all the name calling and all this stuff about me, don't y'all see me working? How about y'all leave me the fuck alone so I can continue to do what I do? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I, I'd like to invite any other person out there and, and, and see if they're actually funding events to help others without any agenda whatsoever. Like there's no publicity stunt. There's no, like, it's not anything personal. It's just, you're doing it because that's the right thing to do. Uh, most of the times when someone else does an event, it's for an agenda. They are, you know, they're, and they're getting a lot of sponsorship money for that too. That's so true. That was that's out true. of your own pocket. Right. Yeah. And you, you, uh, you heard the lady, I'm not sure if you heard the lady yourself, but she said, she told me that she thought it was bullshit. It was the yeah. face painter. She did. Yeah, she thought it was. She thought it was. She thought it was BS. Because we contacted her, thinking, I mean, telling her we want to do a free event. We want we want you to to uh, come and participate. Yeah. We we're going to pay you for so many hours to do kids paint. You know, paint kids faces for free. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna pay you ahead of time to do it. How much? So she gave us the price, and I paid it without a problem right she came she performed and then when she found out it was me she came over and painted my face and told me we thought we thought this was bs because nobody does this and i was like no it's definitely not bs would you like to be a part of the next one absolutely that's what she said that's so cool it's <laughs> so cool. right yeah so we we we, we helped her by paying her and she did her job by making kids happy. Right. There's 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 no other motives than that. That's it. Yeah. Spreading the wealth like never before, and um, you know, entertaining the kids and being inspirations and stuff like that. We had guests. We had guest people pop up. You know, and I and I I funded the whole thing because I want people to see what Daddy wants them to do. Right. Not just sit there and talk all this bullshit about bullshit about more bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, and it was a beautiful event. I was there, so I did see right. it with my own eyes. But I've I've seen the video and the pictures from the other events as well. So this other team of people have um, taken it upon themselves to help groups in New York City area. I mean, it looks fabulous. It, it looks yeah. amazing. So we're starting a new movement, you know, That's initially, right. initially it'll be, you know, we'll have to fund and pay people, but as time goes on, many of them will probably volunteer as my guess. They want to be something. They want to be part of something bigger to help others. And that's the purpose of it all. Um, yeah. You know, I, I would fund it all if I could. Right. Um. um the purpose of me releasing the spreadsheet is just to give people a rough idea on how much something like what I did would cost. Yeah. And of course, of course, the uh, the amounts and the cost will vary depending on the location and the people. Right. Um, like, for instance, in New York, it was only two hundred dollars to get the ice cream truck guy to come out and give away ice cream to the kids all day. Wow. And that's because he wanted to be a part of it. And he said, you know what, just give me this and I'll do it. And I was yeah. like, say no more, send yeah. them the money like that. Yeah. Um, we had another guy with the um, the airbrush guy. He was he had like 300 shirts or 300, 400, 500 shirts. And he was just airbrushing them. And we had hats. So I paid for that, too. So he could just sit there all day long 
and do it. He, the guy didn't even want nothing. And I still sent him money. Here, take that. He was like, oh, shit, thank you. So that's what we want to do. We want people that will come in and be a part of this, not expecting anything, and then blessing them anyway. Imagine how imagine how fast we're get, imagine how fast we're getting ready to grow because we are growing already. We got people everywhere, everywhere already excited about it because they're seeing everything. Yeah, and that's what we want. You feel the energy. We feel it moving faster and faster. And and you're right. People want to participate. Like now, so this it's beautiful because it helps the participant or the attendee, but it's also a small business promotion. All right. So those small businesses that are out there doing these good deeds are going to be compensated and or donate their time, get their name out there. So it's just a win, win, win situation. Again, the vibration here on earth. So yeah, and that's exactly correct. Now here's another thing I want you guys to keep in yeah. mind. Because we we put an end to the human trafficking and the harvesting of our children, we're going to need more of these events because they're no longer being um, kidnapped and all that stuff, right? So now we're going to have to create somewhere the children could have fun. Right. That's that's the, that's that's literally what it is. It's sad yeah. that we that it's crazy how I even have to say that shit, but. Since, since since our children will no longer go missing, murdered, and drinking and eaten, these events will help inspire them, and it will be done for free so that they can have a beautiful life mm -hmm. like they deserve. Right. Um, at the end of the day, we all deserve it. We all deserve beautiful lives. Um, and that's what these that's what these um these events are for for helping people, not just the children, just. In general, if we're paying a company or a person to come out and perform and they're already being paid ahead of time, that's a blessing for them. Yeah. Yeah. So it's important that we continue to do these things because it's going to change the vibration. You know, it's going to change the vibration of the planet even more. I mean, we're already hitting it. Um, there's a lot of things happening behind the scenes where. You know, you got the stock shit happening. You got the crypto crap happening. You got all this bullshit happening. And we're focused on helping somebody today because that's what dad wants us to focus on. Right. So what's that tell you? That means all this other shit is fading away. We're going to help somebody today and continue to help somebody today where it's going to be so natural that when you're not helping somebody, like I said before, you're going to feel like shit. Right. And you should. Right. Well, like I said, look at all the celebrities and billionaires. Okay. So if they make a donation or they start a charity, there's an agenda there. There's definitely going to be a photo op. Okay. But there's an agenda there to sway somebody or, or launder money, whatever it could be. So these are events without agenda other than having fun and helping people. How beautiful is that? That's true. That's true. And that's what, that's what it's all about. Yeah. Um, what people don't know, know is that some of the celebrities don't even control their own lives, of course. which is which is why they won't participate in stuff like this, because they're not the ones in charge. Yeah. Uh, and actually, some some contracts even say that they can't be a part of any charities. Ain't that crazy? Totally. Yeah. It, that's why. That's of, why. Go ahead. A lot of times I've seen them set up foundations. And it's like, oh, that's because they're after a way to get the kids. You know, they're doing these right. foundations for orphans or this or that. That's a way to get to the kids. So there's an yep. agenda. Yeah. Yeah. And, and the ones that did have the, the ones that did wanted to do it, they had to do it secretly so that the cabal wouldn't find out. Yeah. Yeah. Horrible. Yeah. Very. Wow. So we saw, we see the Israelis kind of um, still doing their thing, but it feels like it's winding down. And I guess in the past couple of days, they brought a couple of oh, about 80 bodies. I think it was and buried them in a mass grave. And yeah. So um, it's all being, yeah, yeah, it's all being exposed. Um, they're not telling you, they're not telling you guys that they lost the war. They're not yeah. telling you guys that they lost everything. Um they got these rogue 
um, you know, these rogue agents or rogue, even robots at this point doing all this, this, this bullshit. And of course they're doing this, the whole CGI shit like they did, uh, um, uh, the Kamala Harris, uh, last show, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, come on, man, you guys are so fucking stupid. Y'all don't see this. What's going on? Yeah. That's the best you can do. Right. That's the best. Right, you can right, do. right, right. Wow. You don't, you, you, all you see is the bombs dropping and stuff like that, but you don't see no real combat. Yeah. So, and you, you said they still have to officially surrender. Well, they, they've already officially surrendered. They're just not saying it. Okay. And all of the stuff that you're seeing on the on the news and even these these little media outlets, these, you know, these wannabe intel providers are mm-hmm. posting bullshit too. Uh, because it's not like nothing that they're saying is happening. Oh, okay. Okay. Good. Uh, besides yeah. the obvious, there's there's somebody who's dropping bombs. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm looking forward to having that totally over so we can go in and help those people, you know, like, look, we haven't heard a word about Maui in, in like over a year, probably not a peep. And like, we have all these, uh, you know, these scenes play out and we don't, they're, they're big for a couple of days and then they die out just like right. Ukraine war. We haven't heard much about that recently. You know what I mean? It's still happening, but it's, fizzling a little bit right 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 you know just just because uh just because you don't see it in the public eye that doesn't mean daddy has doesn't have us working on it right because he does um you know if if they was if they was not to censor me the way they do we we we'd get a lot more people involved and um we'd get we'd get the truth out so, you know, once once that's nipped in the butt, everybody's going to find out the truth about everything. Yeah. And uh, one of you know what I would like to have is, like I've always said, uncloaking all my ships. Let's land some of them. Transform into our new, not new, but our ourselves. Right. right. To us, it'll be a new body because we're stuck in these. <laughs> right. But but yeah. the the truth of the matter is that they've always been there. So it's only a consciousness shift. And there, there's there's more evidence coming out about what I've been telling y'all for years. And the difference between me and everybody else is that I'm directly involved. I'm the supreme commander of it all. This is what they don't want you to realize and know. It doesn't matter, though, because at the end of the day, when they all fade away, I'll still be here. Awesome. So exciting. And, and I mean, I've been saying this for months, but you can feel the energy ramping up. It's getting faster. It's getting stronger. It's like in, in, in the day seems like it's two hours long anymore. Like it's going so fast. It's like, wow. So we feel it changing. That's true. That's true. I, I, uh, I'm working nonstop. Even even when I'm sitting on the couch, even when I'm, you know, I, I run around, I ride around, I do things nonstop, nonstop working. Yeah. So my time flies. Yeah. Because not only am I working, but I'm doing something that I actually love. I love cleaning up this planet. I love healing people. I love helping people. Now, if you're trying to get me out of that, something wrong with you. Period. I need to focus on helping loving, healing, restoring, blah, 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 blah. Everything else is a distraction. True, true. I think you said something in a couple of your posts this morning about that, about we have a mission and anything other than the mission is distraction. So that's right. Yeah. I got a question from somebody. How do we know what our mission is? And, you know, we're going to have more consciousness once we get our, you know, real bodies, we'll call them. But what I always tell people is, you know, you do what you're good at. You do what you feel like you should be doing. Well, I, should is not the right word. Love. Yeah. You you do what you're called to do, not what you should be doing. Like by right, the rules, right. 
Yeah. Or what you what you what you what you love to do. That's why I always ask people, what do you love to do? Yeah. Oh, I love to do this. I love to do that. Well, that's probably your mission then, huh? Yeah. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So, and that's literally how it is. It's literally yeah. that way. If you if you find yourself stressing about something, cause you know, and worried about something, it's because you're not doing what you love to do. Now, once you start getting into that mode of you loving to do what you're doing, everything else falls in place. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. Everything, everything, everything. So I I understand it's difficult. You know, I I understand it's difficult to a certain point because I never I, I didn't really have I I never really stressed about anything. <laughs> Because I, I always did what felt good to me. Yeah. I didn't have a regular nine to five for too long. Um, I didn't follow everybody's rules for too long or at all in some cases. <laughs> and, and I just did what I love to do and what daddy guided me to do. Right. Right. Um, and that's that's what kept me in peace. I love to invent. Okay. I'm inventing stuff every day, writing it down, scribbling it, right? Whatever it is, you've seen it. Mm -hmm. Whatever it is that comes to my head, I write it down. And next thing you know, it starts to manifest, starts to unfold. It starts to be, it starts to be a reality. So all of the things that dad told us would happen is happening because he's the one that told us. And the more and more you're in your zone, the more and more you can manifest and create. Right. And that love, that love is what gets you there. Because then you're loving what you're doing and with you loving what you're doing, that energy is so powerful that it literally instantaneously manifests. It's not that hard. I think we've gotten away from that because the school system, like we're taught that we've got to do all of these different topics and categories, but let's say you're only good at one. That's really the one that you love doing because you're good at it. It comes easy. It's natural. That's where your focus should really be. Not all this other stuff, but we're not right. talking that way, you know, and that's one of the problems with the education system. You know, we've got, right, to right, right. In, you know, right. So that I'm glad you, you just said that because just, uh, um, the day before yesterday, Dad told me and B that we have to buy all the all the schools. Ooh! So we're going to buy all the schools, and then um, JJ's working on a uh, the move movement, um, where where it's going to be like obstacle courses mixed with computers, gaming, uh, mixed with like Ultimate Warrior, Ninja Warrior type stuff, where. You're constantly moving and doing things and learning and also earning every time you complete a task or a mission within the, the gaming system. So um, it's going to be physical and, you know, mental, oh. if you understand what I'm saying. So, yeah, uh, with that being said, and then the new school system that we put in place, people are going to learn everything there is to learn out there instead of being bamboozled to what we believe right. now. Right. You know, when you when they when they all realize that we're all one and we're all connected and we're all created by this awesome, loving, giving creator, all of this the bullshit down here will fade away. All of it. That's where we're going anyway. But however, the faster we all realize that, the faster we'll get there. Yes, sir, man, so sense. so love what you do, do it and be a part of what we got going on because it's, this is what dad wants. Right. Awesome. Awesome. Um, I've had this on my mind since the last time we talked, which is probably over a month ago. You had put out a, a photo of the a royal family. OK. And they were all black. All right. So they were all in their gowns and blah, blah, blah. And I had asked you if that was a real photo and you said yes. Could you describe that to us? Well, the, the truth is, like yeah. I've been saying, this planet was nothing but melanated individuals. You call them black, but they're not black. They're different shades of wheat, if you ask me. 
<laughs> well, these were the darker shades of wheat, but um, that that has blown my mind. So you said that was like Nicholas, the Czar of Russia, who whose family was murdered. Okay, so again, stolen identity or whatever. They took the property, they took the power, they took this, but they took the history, which is so interesting to me. So in less than a hundred years. The whole story has been convoluted and twisted. And, you know, it's a little bit romanticized because it's a mystery. But um, why? Well, if you, if, you, if, you, if you genocide a whole people and then, you know, you, you only let some of them live and then you let them, you know, re, repopulate in a certain, certain areas of the world. And then you, you're in control of their information in the history books and all that. That's how this stuff happens. Yeah. So that's literally what's been taking place for thousands of years. That's why you don't know nothing about the Tartarians. You don't know nothing about the 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 uh, the colored people that was here. Yeah. Um, um, you know, this is what they do. They they go into certain areas and then they do what they're doing in Israel right now, right? What they did in Israel, and they constantly doing that throughout the centuries. And we're at the point where enough of that is enough. And full disclosure is guaranteed because I'm here. That's that's where we're at with it. Yeah. Um, all of these different beings that used to be in position will be revealed. Even out there, like there's a lot of colored people out there. And, um, you know, because of the gene splicing and all that stuff is, is why you have certain colored beings when most of us are melanin. So interesting. We're going to we're going to know like we're going to know this as time goes on. Like that's, that's the purpose of the schools. Yes. Everything yeah. is going to be taught. Awesome. So this school buying the schools, like physically buying them and then revamping curriculum and how the whole structure, I think, of school will have to be changed. Look at the kids go in. Let's just say it's eight hours. A day and they sit there in the classroom the teacher goes blah 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 all day and the kids probably retain just a percentage of that but they're indoctrinated so just the fact that they would maybe have um the ability to learn and think for themselves is very exciting yeah not not only that they're going to see things for themselves where you know where the problem here right now current is that you got you got millions of people that never saw anything and what we're getting ready to do or yeah. what we're doing yeah you know right now you got you got millions of people filming spacecraft in the skies millions and the cabal's doing their best to censor it but they can't censor everything right you know and there's all different shapes and sizes so you know, you didn't have to believe in aliens. Now they're fucking everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So the whole Rockefeller school system is 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 also taking a dive. Yeah. The stock market is taking a dive. Only only what daddy wants will survive. Uh the cryptocurrencies that are making noise right now will also fade away. And everything that dad wants will be in place. Yeah. Also, well, also, yeah. what will be in place will be similar to what's already in place elsewhere. So all we would have to do is reconnect everything. Oh. Well, one of the things I was just thinking as you were talking is, all right, so first of all, it's been 120 years, let's say. Our whole history has been changed, but the structure of society has been radically changed. And of course, school, like the whole school system. But and I was just thinking how hard it would be to change it to what it should be. But since you have model, a model, it's going to be easier than my mind is thinking. Not not only not only a model, but you have you have individuals who can't be stopped. And if I drop a certain device and say plug this onto your car, or plug this onto your house, and you don't ever have to pay a fucking bill or put gas in it. Yeah. What? How are you going to stop that? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That is, it's huge. Huge. Yeah. So that's exactly. very exciting. Very exactly. exciting. 
And, yeah. the, and the crazy part is that there's a lot of free energy devices out there that you can literally hook up in your garage and power your house. Why haven't you done it already? That's my question. Why haven't you done it already? Why are you still paying electric bills? Why haven't you done it already? You know what? Why haven't I done this shit already? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I've used the um, the you know the source uh, what's it called the source generator sticker, and um, my bill actually went up. <laughs> <laughs> and and I know it's BS because like even last month I was gone for something like 20 days and my bill went up. How can that even be? I haven't been here to use anything. It's yeah. called manipulation of the yeah. of the electric companies. Yeah. That's what that is. Yep. And they're so corrupt, you know, they're basically making money. And, you know, if you look at your bill, they, some of them itemize it. You might use like, say, $20 worth of actual service, but they've right. got $100 in fees, taxes, and unknown items there that you have to pay. Like, what's that for? Yeah, I, 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 just, just me living here, I've seen a lot of, wait, wait, what? Yeah. Huh? Is this yeah. for real? Yeah. <laughs> Yep. Great. So free energy is going to be big. I mean, obviously we can heat and cool our houses. We can run our cars. All of that stuff will save money. Oh. What the hell? I don't know. But then... <laughs> I saw that. What was it? I mean, holy moly. <laughs> done, done, done. <laughs> beat, beat, beat it came said across, in, right? Yeah, B said, B said in blue, so... Oh, so, yeah. Something got red hooked. Wow. Well, whatever that was, I got chills and wow. Sorry, guys. <laughs> so oh, we, we saw it too. What'd you say? Oh, they he said they got worse. But yeah, we, we saw it. You we you, you, you uh it was captured. Good. <laughs> wow. Okay. So we were you talking can't, about you can't you can't fake that. I did not fake that. That was crazy, huh? No, I'm I'm telling the audience. <laughs> I don't even know what that was. Like it's all they... good. But um, we were talking about free energy. <laughs> it was it was a directed energy blast. That's what it was. Okay. Anyway, go ahead. You you're all right. You're all right. Let it go. Let's go. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> So, uh, well, I was just saying, not only will it save the consumer money, it will save the planet. Okay, we're digging up the earth. We're causing all kinds of chaos and making a mess when we won't have to do that to the planet. So I'm right. excited about that. Right. And some of, some of uh, 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 all of the new buildings that I make, build, yeah. will, have, will have sustainability all by themselves. Yeah. That's amazing. And you're going to have appliances as well. So they'll be, they'll have basically little source cubes in them. Yep. Wow. <laughs> well, that was just that my blew my mind a little bit, but how exciting is that? Um, we saw uh, about a month ago, we saw a couple reports that McDonald's had filed bankruptcy and, um, I've told a few people about that and they're all like, no, that'll never happen. You know, look at the lines there. And I'm like, I think they're just preemptively filing the bankruptcy because the lawsuits are going to probably start and they're going to be shut down once they figure out what the source of their meat is and some of the other stuff. Is that like a fair thing to say? Yeah, that is fair. Um, however, they're still going to pay the lawsuits. Yeah. And those that don't believe that McDonald's filed for bankruptcy will see that they actually did because all of the lawsuits have to be paid and it will be paid with property. <laughs> oh, interesting. Yeah. Well, you know, years ago I heard that, uh, you know how they here they build drugstores on every corner. They've got always got a new drugstore going up somewhere. 
And then they'll go out of business a few years later. But somebody years ago told me that was a money laundering. So they overpay everybody to build their facility. They may or may not even move into it. And then they have to sell the real estate, you know? Right. There's so also ways they make money. Yeah. So that's what's been happening in a lot of areas because, because we are, we, we, we stopped the trafficking. They no longer could launder money and now they have to create funds by other means. And one of them is boosting up the rent on the people that live uh, or work or have restaurants in certain, certain buildings. Right. Right. Um, there's a, there's a whole, there's a whole, you know, there's all, all up and down this Island people left their restaurants because they couldn't pay because they up they you know, you're talking about from, from 3,500 to now 60,000 for rent. I mean, wow. uh, six, 6,000 for rent. Yeah, yeah. So now they're trying to charge double, and they did it to me here too. So um, it's like, okay, what's going on? And when we looked into it, that's what it was. Yeah, I know. Over the pandemic, I saw a lot of restaurants and retail stores go out because the landlords wouldn't forgive the payment or defer the payment or whatever. They wouldn't work with the closed down retailer or restaurant. So the right. small business person, again, suffers. Now, who was left open? You got Home Depot, Walmart, all the big grocery store chains. They're just raking in money because it's the only place people could shop then, right? right. But the trend has continued. With, uh, the mortgage rates have gone up. The interest rates have gone up. Housing has d diminished. Like, housing prices are crazy. But the rental prices have, like, they've gone insane, you know? And yeah, that's why you see so many homeless or people on the verge of being homeless. They can't live. You know, they can't pay for it. That's true. That's yeah. and that's another that's another reason why we have to um you know, we have to uh what do you call it? Uh re reform everything because yeah. it's gotten out of control. Yeah. Is, is way out of control. So what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to buy up all the properties and then we're going to change things, and we're going to bring the people back into town. We're going to bring the people. Um, um, not only we're going to bring the 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 workers and the owners back into town, but we're going to bring in all of the um, tourists and stuff back into town. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I I keep telling everybody around here that because there's an off season here. It go, you know, one minute is everybody's here and the next minute everybody's gone. Yeah. So once we start building facilities and and arenas and event places like that, we ain't going to have off season yeah. because people are going to come just to see what we do next. Yeah. And you're going to develop the pod system for tra transportation. So that's going to ease up on traffic and expense again, pollution, the whole thing. So yep. don't easier for people um what about rentals and um housing because you know we've heard reports i think it's berkshire hathaway or um i don't actually remember who it is but there's been some big corporations they've gone around they've bought up all the properties and they're cranking up the rent they're after the money but like i said the common person is struggling what's going to happen uh in the near future for them well, we're not we're not going to have um, we're not going to have uh, um, what you call it. Um, we're not going to have people struggling because we're going to release the um, basic income and all the other incomes. Yeah. Uh, and then as far as the rental properties and stuff like that, they're going to have to either um, um, change their ways or forfeit the properties or people like myself will buy it up and then change it that right. way. Right. So you the people are going to have more of everything. Awesome. Um, a lot of people that are living paycheck to paycheck is not going to live paycheck to paycheck anymore. Right. Um, because they're actually going to find something that they love to do. And since we'll be creating more and more jobs and more and more venues and avenues or whatever you want to call it, right. people are going to love to be a part of what we got, what daddy's doing. Right. Awesome. Um, and if you got basic income and then you got other assistance and other streams of income, like 
you know, you want to earn some more money, go over to the move building over there. They, they got some obstacle courses where you can do some shit and you can get paid. Not only that, we're also going to put in place a um, weight management system. <laughs> so when you when you start to lose weight, we're going to pay you for it. So we're, we got already a bunch of things already lined up. We're just going to execute one by one by one by one. These are things that dad is showing me to do. That's fabulous. Mm -hmm. when, you, when you think of a little kid that starts school, like most of them, like they like school because they like the social component. They like to play with their friends and stuff. So recess is usually, or gym is usually most kids favorite hour. <laughs> Lunch of course was mine, but, <laughs> but um, so there, in my opinion, Schools are important because of the social component. It tells you how to, you know, function in society. But, um, you know, I just think the way the curriculum is built and we're taught stuff, again, incorrect stuff on purpose, but we're taught stuff that we'll never use. Like who uses calculus, right? right. Or whatever, algebra. Like it's good to know your basic fractions and, you know, stuff like that. But in real life, do we really need that? I don't think right, so. Right, 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 right. So it'll yeah, be even 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 the time frame, even the time frame. Like you don't have to be in school all these hours when you can just spread it out and have the have it have a home computer and do like homeschooling and you know certain things over here and give you enough yeah. time to go to um, things places like the move and yeah. uh, um, yeah. other different things where where you're constantly. Um, constantly learning um now one of the things i thought i'm sure i said this before but one of the things was daddy wanted us to do a three-day work week yeah. with that being said we only got three-day work weeks so why not have a three-day learning week you see what i'm saying and then you and your family the whole family can go uh, enjoy themselves somewhere and since you have yeah. more money now because not only you but your children get a basic income Oh, you can go out and do more things. Yeah. So. And the entertainment will be wholesome. So, OK, like Disney in Florida. OK, I think it's over two hundred dollars a day per person to go to Disneyland. OK, and then you got a family of four or five. That's a ton of money. And so, of course, then you have to have the food, the hotel, the transportation. It's a really expensive thing for a week at Disney. And then everyone's tired and cranky. And, you know, you're, you're trying to stay in line for the whole day because you paid so much money. That's crazy. Right? right? Wouldn't it be great if we had a park where you could dip in and dip out? It was like inexpensive, wholesome. You didn't have to worry about your kids being taken, you know. That's exactly what we're going to build everywhere, and yeah. we're not going to charge. Yeah. For instance, if you go to Atlantic City, you don't have to pay to get into the boardwalk where all the rides are at. Yeah. You, you have to pay for the rides. Yeah. But but what if we change that, too, where you don't even have to do that? All you have to yeah. do is show up, have a good time. Everybody's already taken care of because we created other streams of income yeah. to take care of the employees. Right. Like this is why, why all these billionaires are hoarding all this fucking money. We could they could be doing this right now. Yeah, yeah. What's the problem? Yeah. So Perfect. we're going to we, we're changing everything. We are. Yeah, yeah. And that's that's um you know you see the billionaires and they do these occasional charitable things for an agenda, but they are just holding the money close. They they don't care about people eating animals eating. Uh, the health of, or well-being of anyone. They just care about their own, you know, bank account. So it's it's going to be a new change of management, right? That's right. Yep. Okay. That's awesome. Awesome. It's so exciting. Well, my daughter had told me like about a month ago, she said the tide has turned. Having all these armadas out there, like it's been amazing. So that's really been helpful. Yeah, well, you know, she can um, she can see it. A lot of other people can see it. Yeah. Um, the cabal can definitely see it. And um, 
even the, uh, the, the, the U S military army and all that, they can all see it. Yep. I mean, it's hard not to see what's happening. Yeah. You yeah. know, especially if you have equipment to detect things. Um, they know, they know what I'm saying has validity, but they still don't believe it, which I don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, do you care what they think? That's it. That's it. What do you say? If they daddy, that's it. Yep. Okay. In other now, words, if it's if it's daddy, we care. If not, no. <laughs> so so what is the status of the historical assets that you were um offering? Are those still available to people that want to purchase them? Yes, we do have um historical assets still available. All you gotta do is contact me. Uh, it's still an ongoing thing. Um, mm -hmm. There is money moving, however, if you wanted to know that. Uh, we just have to wait our turn. And those of you that did purchase historical assets from me also helped me pay for all these cool things that we're, that we're doing. Right. Um, so, you know, uh, the money's coming in and it's going right back out. Whether, yeah. it's, whether it's me funding a new product or a new project or uh, doing um, fun, not fundraisers, but the social event that we just had. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Daddy wants us to continue to do what we're doing so that we can lead by example. And that's what that's what we're doing. That's what selling the assets was all about, too. Not to mention I bought us a couple of toys, but. Well, the thing is, you like this is what the billionaires would have done. They would have kept the historical assets for themselves. But instead of doing that, you've offered them to select people, you know, that that will be able to help others. It's going to ripple out in a bigger and faster way. Um, so I think that's a beautiful thing, you know. It is. It is. We we had some um, some 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 guys in New York with deep pockets, and uh, they they just shut us down because um, they weren't of the light. If you understand yeah. what I'm saying. Yes. So they didn't. Even, they they couldn't even handle the picture, especially you. Uh, I posted. I sent them a picture with with James Cisco in it. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> oh, with the historical asset, I saw that. Oh mm -hmm. my god, that's yep. so funny. So funny. All right, all right. So we have just limited time here. Anything else you want to get across? Schools are going to change. Housing is going to change. The money is coming. Well, the, mo the money is here. Uh, they're sorting things out. They're releasing it. Uh, this is why this is why Iraq was um, uh, the Treasury got involved with Iraq, blah, blah, blah. Um, different things all around the world are taking place. Some of it is being reported. Some of it yeah. isn't. Yeah. Um, at the end of the day, everything that I say will happen because it's coming from dad. It's not coming from smarty. You know, people want to blame me for what I'm saying and doing. They want to blame me and say that I'm all these things where I'm just replying or, or, or um, um, uh, uh, re, re, uh, uh, what what did you say? Reporting. Reporting what Daddy is telling me to report. Right, right. And another thing, he's already convinced me of everything. I don't give up what you'll say. Okay. Right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> not only that I also have the abilities to back up what I'm saying this this is clear we all know this already all right so that's another reason why I say we're going to do these events we're going to do them all around the world yes. and if you want to interfere <laughs> interfere at your own risk because you will lose your life if you interfere with something that daddy wants if he wants you to lose your life Right. So I'm right. giving y'all a fair warning. That's it. Beautiful. Yep. Very All beautiful. Right. Daddy is daddy is everything. Um, we wouldn't have none of this stuff if it wasn't for dad. And I know this. I appreciate everything he's done for me. Um, even the headaches, right? Even the headaches. I appreciate the headaches too because at the end of the day, it's a learning curve for me. This is 
what not to do. Do or what not to do. <laughs> All right. Well, we we uh, we good to go. We got some. We got other stuff to take care of. Well, we will ask more questions next time we get together. I have probably four pages of questions for you. We'll get we'll get to them. This uh, yeah, yeah. um, well, we got we got people coming into town. So uh, like Sunday, Monday, we could do the next one. All right. Appreciate your time very much. Yep. You Thank too. You. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You uh, Sue's been a big help, and uh, 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 everybody. We're going to start. Um, what do you call it? Um, gathering up more people to participate. Um, so, if uh, 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 if you don't, if you if you didn't cause problems in the past, you'll be you'll be welcome to join us now. Yay! Yay! All Yay. right, love thank you guys. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Bye bye.